episode of Grounded. Hopefully, you all are all having an absolutely awesome day today. We got some. Oh, almost fell off. Why don't we go in? Go, 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 go. No! Oh. I'm just trying to parkour and drink don't some water. Chibaliba, but today we are. Okay, I'm getting stuck in my freaking stairs over here. Getting some awesome things done today. We're gonna venture over to the hedges over that way. Why, you might ask? Well,. I'm trying to get my hands on some significantly upgraded armor. Like, for example, ladybug armor. That's going to require a few parts. Number one, I got to slaughter every ladybug in a 50-mile radius. So we're going to keep that in mind. But number two, we need some berry leather. So uh, we're going to go hunting for that. And then we'll probably pay a pit stop if we got to go to the hedges all the way in that freaking corner. We'll probably pay a pit stop to our base right over here. Kind of like by the oak tree and a few other things like that. So, yeah. Why don't we go and get to it? I got 10 smoothies. So I, 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 I'm truly prepared for everything. Ten smoothies, like that's enough to really tackle all of life's problems. Ah, my eyes! Except the sun, apparently. Uh, no local insects. Oh, I was gonna say, that actually sounds like stink bug. I was gonna say, the stink bugs like this rock, but they need to realize this is my rock now. I live here. I heard, I heard scuttly noises. But I digress. We gotta keep our eyes peeled, obviously. Lots of wolf spiders and dangerous things. Oh, there's the stinky boy. Dude, those things are terrifying. <laughs> the amount of times I've died to a stinky lad is a little bit too high. And I already have plenty of his freaking body parts. So, you know what? I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna be a kind and benevolent overlord and just let you live. And oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, we, we freaking... Our last base was in the middle of Spider Central. Now we've decided to live in the middle of a stink bug central. Oh, what's up, buddy? No, 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 no. I do not want what you are selling. Even if it's Girl Scout cookies. I'm sorry, stink bug. You probably have the stinkiest Girl Scout cookies on this side of Mississippi. But yeah, over to the berry leather we go. And while we're over there, not only do I want berry leather, I want to try and find the boss. <gasps> Star, the guest, that is right. I want to find an apple. Hello, apple. Do you just drop like apple bits or something that are edible? No, just rocks. It's a bit disappointing, but yes. No? <gasps> hot dog? Hold up. Art, doesn't this thing drop <gasps> hot dog bits? Let's freaking go! Yeah. Billy Hog and Nuggets! Woohoo! We go be eating tonight, lads! Is this just an infinite source of hot dog? Nope, it is very not infinite. Hello, spy. Oh, that ain't. I just deprived him of his hot dog. Sorry, buddy. It's my hot dog now, bro. We're gonna be eating good. But just last episode, if y'all do recall, we did finish exploring the stinkiest area in the map. I actually had to craft the gas mask and all that to explore the gassy place and it's pretty gassy but we managed to make our way out of there pretty unscathed not really a lot to go around there so we're making our way back into uh, more populated turf like the beautiful berry bush now i do know that there's a wolf spider that does live around these parts i have encountered him on various occasions so i'm just trying to be a, a little bit cautious a little bit oh speak of the devil there he is how you doing buddy hey i knew you were around here is that a wolf spider or is that a orb weaver? I don't know and I really don't want to know. Hey, buddy. Please let me live, please, and thank you. I'm just going to keep on going this way. Because we, we might need to fight a freaking wolf spider over here anyway. But I do want to make way over and ideally find the secret boss of the berry bush. The hedges. The hedge mother. The brood, brood mother or something like that. Also clay. <gasps> Ooh, can't we take this up now? Because oh, I have a shovel, right? So technically, we should be able to dig this. Oh, as long as that wolf spider is not freaking hunting us. I've been hunted by wolf spiders for very long periods of time before. Uh, let's grab this shovel. I'll toss that. I don't plan on hammering anything at the moment. Let's dig up a little bit of clay, boys. I actually think that I do live near a pretty clay-centric area with that little uh, outpost we started the episode off at. Because if y'all do not recall, or do recall, that's actually our outpost. Our OG base is all the way over this way by the Welp flavor drink. Play. But we honestly did a really good job designing both the bases. They're a little bit different in their own regards, but I don't know. I definitely love the two bases. Let me know. I don't know. Which of the two bases do you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy better? I'm not gonna lie. The newer base is actually somewhat aesthetically pleasing. The older base, definitely a work in progress, but I digress. Okie dokie. That's what I like to see, though. I'm seeing some bears. I'm seeing bears. Hello, bears. How you doing today? Now, I do know that this is Orb Weaver Central. I've literally... There they are! I see them falling out of the freaking sky. Oh, skies. Many falling from the skies. Wow, would you look at that? 
But we want to parkour our way up into these trees. And there are berries and stuff, but first things first. I want to try and tussle with some of these orb weavers. Oh, he's going to be coming this way. What up, buddy? What up, what up, what up? Oh, no, don't freaking spit on me. Ah, oh, big hit. No, oh, I'm just going to try to juke you a little bit. Big hits, baby. Big hits, baby. Goodbye, orb weaver. Give me your chunks. Oh, that's right. You're looking like a chunky monkey. Why does Chunky Monkey remind me of peanut butter? I don't know, but okay, let's get a few hits off in there. Let's make sure not to get spit on by his sticky stuff. Just keep your sticky stuff away, kind sir. And then, yeet! We want to try and just kind of uh, run around a little bit and continue... Ah! Juke in his freaking attacks. The Orb Weavers are a little bit easier to juke than the Wolf Spiders. The Wolf Spiders are absolute beast. Block! Oh, he missed us. Because the spiders only attack in like a small cone in front of them. So it's... I don't know. Once you get the tactics down... I like doing it third person so you can kind of get a general feel. For, uh, whatchamacallit, where the spiders are relative to you. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, is this water or juice? Ooh, that was juice. Oh, dude, every time I hear leaves rustling, I freaking pee my pants a little bit, bro. Seriously, grounded has made me invest into too many pairs of pants. I should just start my own pants company. Would y'all support that if you would? Hit that like button. That's how I know. Oh, my Jeep! Oh, ha, ha, what's happening? There's so much water! Oh my god, it's rain and slurp juice. Hallelujah, it's rain and slurp. Yeah, seriously, so... The cool stuff about this is that it does also fill up your hunger, so... Bit of a double whammy there. Let's freaking go, dude. Now, back to what I was saying. You want to climb. You want to get all vertical up in here. First things first, though, I do want to get some of these berries collected, because in order to craft the, uh... What is it? Over here on the workbench gear. The ladybug stuff, it requires ladybug heads, ladybug parts, and berry leather. And I believe you can craft one berry leather from, yes, three berry chunks. So, hold up. I hear scuttling. I hear scuttling. That's terrifying scuttling. Oh, it's the freaking mite. Why is your scuttling louder than spider scuttling, dude? I do not understand. How are you the loudest scuttler I've ever heard? I really hope that wolf spider doesn't wander over here, bro. That's probably, like, my biggest fear right now. Beautiful. We got some low-hanging fruits, though. I'll happily boop. Collect some of those puppies. But pretty much for every berry you break, you get three berry pieces. And then, or berry chunks. And I believe three berry chunks create one berry leather. So doing a little bit of big brain math over here, right? How does one math? Uh, <laughs> we need three leather there. Four leather there. And four leather there. So we're looking to pretty much collect if my math is uh, on the correct mundo -ness. Ooh. Larva over there. What's a larva doing here? Also, what is this electrical box? I kind of want to parkour up to that. Listen, it's not every day we venture to the berry hedge, so I kind of want to see what's up. Oh my god, do they live here? Hello, larva. How you doing, bud? Why is there so many of you here? I got some questions. And they need an answer in. Why do y'all freaking inhabit this place like you live here? Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, ho, mama. I was not expecting that. I'll take you down, though. Bless up the mint mallet. All hail. The most glorious weapon ever. Do, do, they, do they just, like, live here? I, I'm i not sure. There, there's a, a, like, a lot of them. What up, larva? Bop. No. Oh, there we go. Love the fact that we can stun them sometimes after we get a hit off on them. Oh, no. That guy looked like he was... I don't know. You want me to call, like, emergency services, bro? You look like you're having some medical trouble. Listen, even though I'm about to kill you, I want to make sure you're taken care of first. Oh, my God. Sounds like someone's stuck in that rock. I'm sorry for your loss. That's very sad. <laughs> nah. Boop! Boop! Big hits, big hits. Okay, we got a freaking two for one. Oh my god, it's a three for. Luckily, we got some smoothies in case things do get carried out of hand. Oh, eat the smoothie. It does give us instant health regeneration, which is pretty freaking clutch. Oh my god. But I don't need that. I got the mint mallet. Oh, I, I, I might need it though. These guys do like to like lunge forward and stuff. We are about to have so many larva parts, which I am definitely a little bit happy about. But yeah, why is there a freaking... Is, is there some kind of larva general meeting here? What's... what's What's going on? Where do you freaking people live? I don't even, like... Like, there's not, like, a hole in the ground. Don't you guys have, like, a nest? I don't, I don't know. I'm no larvologist, but... 
Did they just like this corner? I think so. All right, well, I still want to get to the top of that electrical box. Because I feel like there might be like something hidden up there. Then we go back to exploratoring this area over here. But yeah, hopefully y'all are all having an absolutely awesome day. That does just keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way. Ooh, baby, what is this? I got a scab scheme, cyber strength. What, what did I just find? Hold up, scab scheme? What is this? Day mode, oh. Oh. Oh, dude, this is sick. Cyber strike. That is a freaking sick color scheme, dude. I will take that. So, okay, I'm kind of stoked with that. What in tarnation is that over there? Oh, it's like a freaking sign that says under construction. That's kind of cool, because that means that there's going to be something coming over there. Oh, speaking of which, we got an update on the game, y'all. I believe the update that I've been talking about quite a little bit that's supposed to be coming on August 28th. Psych! It's coming on August 26th now, apparently. So definitely looking forward to getting our grubble little fingers on that beauty. That's going to be some fun. Um, oh, another thing that I want to do, too, because of the shenanigans we are going to be getting ourselves into, I want to craft a lean-to. This is a very nice thing you can do. Just literally craft a lean-to. Make sure you got the stuff to craft that you can set your respawn point kind of close to where you're adventuring. And given the fact I'm expecting to go to freaking war with some spiders here, uh, not not a, not a bad place to to invest. Now, ooh, sap. I like sap. Does that make me a sap? <laughs> I'm sorry. But this I like. I think this might be the way that we're supposed to go. I forget exactly the path we're supposed to take, but there is some sort of a pretty convoluted path that actually leads us to this secret spider boss. And I like secrets and bosses. So we're gonna be doing everything in our power to try and find this thing, baby. And also while we are up here, maybe knock down some of these blueberries, because they're a little bit easier to shoot down when you are kind of like up in their business. But now it's a matter of us trying to find the correct Mundo path to whence we try to go. In worst case, we get to explore a pretty cool freaking area. I hear scuttling. Are there spiders up here? I don't know, but I found the apricot puncho. Dude, this is a cool area. And it's also very easy. Pop! Why didn't you not break? Pop! There we go. It does take two shots. Very easy to shoot down some berries for the future, so. A little bit of a double whammy. On one hand, we're venturing over here to to do stuff, and on the other hand, we're doing other stuff. I'm a stuff. I'm just. I'm a stuffologist. Yeah, I, I'm doing all the stuffs. I am hearing some of that worrying scuttling. It does sound like spider scuttling, but knowing me, it's probably mites scuttling. But yeah, I do want to venture around a little bit. Definitely knock off some of these berries, and then we will. Oh my God! The berry had a baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just hit a pregnant berry. I feel, I feel so bad. I don't want to use too many arrows either, because uh, they will most likely come in handy for, well, some of the stuff we have in store. So I think I see another berry that's relatively accessible here. Can we climb higher? No. Like, there's so many different ways to go, dude. I kind of want to build a base up here. That'd be sick. Can you build up here? Is that like legal? Ooh, it is. Dude, a berry base would be sick. Okay, that's on the freaking to-do list now. It's official. Dude, I hear scuttling. I don't see scuttles, though. Oh, it's the freaking baby spiders. Oh, man. Dude, I better not get attacked by baby spiders. Like, come on. Come on now, bruv. Oh, dude, so many berries over this way. Okay, I'll do a little bit more parkour here. We're gonna work our way over there. Hello, Barry. Boop. I will see you at the bottom. Tip, tip, cheerio. Wee. And then there's one branch over here that has like a ton of berries and also a cool little, uh, well, looks like it's gonna be a cool little view to give us. Yeah, check this out, man. Okay, first things first. Can I, like, this is very sketchy. I, being the big brain that I am. Did it on purpose. I like to challenge myself. Yeah, I'm challenging myself by I didn't bring a dandelion tuft up here. So if we fall, it's 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 gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. It's uh, simply simply put there. There's no 
good alternative to this. Uh, can I shoot down these berries? The berry is not being shut down. There we go. Tip, tip, cheerio, berry. Have a fun time down. Okay, there should be like a ton of berries waiting for us at the bottom. Hopefully the spiders don't eat them. I think we can also use the berries to craft some pretty cool smoothies. Make myself a smoothie. And alrighty. Where's freaking baby spider McGee? I saw the scuttles. Don't think I didn't. Oh, uh, there you are. I think that's a good sign we're going the right way. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Because uh, the spider boss we're going to be battling is called the Hedge Mother for a reason. She's got babies. <laughs> These that we're seeing are babies. Maybe I will drink from this leaf. Leaf, you will not betray me, right? You're not going to fall. Beautiful. A little bit of a... Oh my god, that's a lot of spiders up ahead. Okie dokie, we got our work cut out for us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good sign, but it's a bad sign. Because <laughs> it's the right way, but the right way... Is going to be a challenge. So I think we want to drop down. Oh man. Okay, that in the distance. That's where we want to go. That's like the frisbee, right? I like frisbees. We want to go there. Can I parkour up to that? Like, ah. Ah. I don't know if battling two orb weavers at the same time is going to be a good idea. Let's get a little bit of. Uh, Rangitude in? Maybe we could trick the maybe we could trick them into falling off. That'd be nice. Okay, or if you just want to stand there, I will happily shoot you in the face a lot. I do need to save some arrows though. So I will need to get these arrows back if that's cool, Mr. Orb Weaver. Just just letting you know right now. Please don't fall off after I kill you. I need these arrows back. And I don't really want to go to the bottom of the hedge. Marvelous. One down. Boop. Worst case, if this second fella wants to tussle, we'll tussle. Okay, beautiful. There's a ton of arrows right there. Oh, mama. Oh, no. Don't do the spitty. Okay, now he's scuttling away again. Oh, what you doing, baby? What you doing? Come on, come on, come on. I, he's just so bamboozling here. It's like he doesn't want to go past that little area. All right, YOLO. I'll shoot you in the face a little bit more. How's that sound? Yeah. He appears to be enjoying the bejesus out of this because... Well, he's not really doing anything. He's just standing there like, oh, yeah. What you gonna do, shoot me in the face with an arrow? Like, yeah, actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Please do not. Can you? Okay, there's too many arrows in his face. Kind sir, I need you to, like, if you're gonna drop the arrows, just please make sure that they... Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I gotta make sure to, like, collect these arrows here. I need, like, as many as I can, bro. <laughs> what, what's that Lebo Swift? We got, like, 18 arrows. Okay, that's troubling, actually. That's, that's actually... <laughs> That's concerning. It's okay. I like a good challenge. And and this will be challenging. <laughs> uh, I did not think I would be underprepared on the arrow side of things, yet here we are. Okay. Boop. Uh, just for the sake of science, can I hit you? Oh my god, there's another orb weaver down there. Hello? How am I missing this berry, dog? Can I use something else? Okay, I'm, I'm not getting closer to the edge. First off, so I'll continue hitting some of those down. Huh. So we gotta get to that branch over there. Then we gotta parkour onto this boy. And that will take us this way. Oh yeah, this is the way. This is the way, my friends. This will be beautiful. <gasps> parkour! That's the riskiest thing I'm gonna do today. We're done, we're done risking it for the biscuit. Biscuit acquired, baby. <laughs> And all right, we continue approaching our final destination. Um, uh, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Still no more spiders along the way. I think we killed the two main protectors on our way to the final countdown. My hair scuttles. Dude, I, like, I, I, I don't know, man. Oh, there is our friend. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no, that's terrifying. Say hello to the Frisbee. Where the king of all spiders does reside. The, or queen, I should say. The brood mother. The brood mother is not a nice person. You're gonna, like, are you gonna let me live here? I'm just trying to get to that. Ah! There's multiple. 
Wait, the brood mother can do the spitty stuff too? Oh my god, that's what makes her so special. Cause that's a wolf spider that actually can do like the, the weavy stuff. Okay. Well, hopefully, luckily they can't hit us from here. Oh my god. Okay, brood mother just fell down. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, well, I gotta kill you here, Mr. Orb Weaver. So if that, if that's cool, I'm gonna have to ask you to die. Hope that's okay. Hope we can come to agreement on this. Oh my god, don't you fall down too. Okay, I will tussle mano y mano. Get over here, Orb Weaver. Because it's just, it's me and you. The wolf spider, the brood mother is not here anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just, uh, dude, there's a lot of babies. I was not anticipating so many babies. I'm not a freaking, this isn't a daycare that I'm running because I'd be the worst daycare in the universe. Uh, die, big boy. Okay, okay, time to deal with the small boys. And then we still got the actual brood mother to kill. That, I don't know, is her freaking best friend over there. They're besties for life. Boop. Sorry, spider. You gotta go. So, yeah, I gotta figure out what is going on with the brood mother. Because she hath fallen and she hath not getting up. I mean, well, we are up here, though. hey -ya! Might as well collect some of the berries, right? They're kind of reasonable to attain. I feel, excuse me. I have the strongest spider that has apparently just fallen from his arena. Her arena. And I'm kind of sort of terrified. Because I, I, I'm scared. I don't know how we're going to tussle with this, uh... Where did it fall to? Maybe it took fall damage. Ooh, that'd be nice. Where is the brood mother, bro? Like, I... Oh, it's down there, I think. Well, hi, diggity dog. How much health you got? Full health. Okie dokie. Well, well, well. We gotta get down there and we gotta... We gotta fight the brood mother. It is starting to get a little bit dark. What a perfect scene to be set for our epic showdown of ultimate destiny. Yeah, a lot of blueberries there. Like, we could go after those, but nah. I want the mother of the brood. Hello, brood mother. You look a lot smaller than I remember you. Yeah, indeed. I'm just trying to find a good area for us to show down with the brood mother. Because that is literally a wolf spider of ultimate proportions. Ugh. Ow. Okay, that's not good. We want to lure her over. Somewhere a little bit more friendly for battle. Okay, so it looks like the brood mother started falling asleep or something. There's a pretty conveniently placed rock over here. I reckon this might be our time to shine. Yeah, literally, she's just taking a nap. Well, brood mother now is not nap time, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, please don't tell me the brood mother's getting reinforcements. That'd be very bad. Oh, brood mother looking spooky. Don't tell me she can climb. She can climb up that. No, oh, dude, she did a lot of damage. Okay, I gotta heal. I gotta drink a lot of smoothies. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I am poisoned. I don't like being poisoned. Definitely not on the good list of things to be. Okay, come on, drink some more smoothies. Drink some more smoothies. No, no, oh, come on, die, brood mother. Let's freaking it go. Your poison does nothing, but your friends might. I'm gonna go away. The brood mother is defeated. Lily, Lily, Lily. Wow! Oh, dude, that was a close call. Luckily, I told you the power of this smoothie will see us through this cursed day. Hello, aunt. Worse than my mom's brother. So, did we even get anything special from killing the brood mother? I, I don't think so. Are you serious? Are you flipping? My mom always says I light up a room. Cereal right now, dude? You're telling me that that brood mother did not drop nothing special. That is upsetting. I wonder if the brood mother was protecting anything special. Well, I guess we're gonna go and find out. Because I'm gonna try and get my butt back up there. And also see if I can't maybe find some of those blueberries that I dropped throughout our adventure. Okay, it looks like the orb weavers are protecting them. Cool! Very cool. Very cool. Dude, I do wish that I could have my mint mallet out and my torch. Unfortunately, I gotta have something a bit weaker. Like my axe. The mint mallet is its too powerful, comrades. It's too strong. I'm very happy to see the return of some of these arrows. What's that bring our arrow turtle back up to? Like 23? Not bad, dude. 
I will take that. Hopefully not to awaken the orb weavers. I hope you're having some sweet dreams there, Mr. Orb Weaver. Hopefully they don't involve murdering your local neighborhood star. I'd, I'd very much so appreciate that. The, the not murdering of me. I, the, I would not appreciate a, a, a murder. No, please don't do that. Woo! Well, here appears to be the product, the fruit of our labors. Quite literally a fruit, too. <laughs> I'm a punny guy. I'm sorry. Um... And I do know that area that the Broodmother was protecting, I believe had some more blueberries too. Well, this is the general area. Yeah, there we go. Where we were dropping down a ton of blueberries. And then hopefully, I mean, oh no, get back here. That blueberry does not want to get chopped up. We'll be able to find a lot of ladybugs because we do need a lot of ladybug parts to fulfill our needs. And, oh, I could sleep at the uh, little shelter I made to be completely honest. So I am still kind of terrified of that wolf spider coming. Dude, you guys don't understand. I think that's literally the first time that I've ever successfully defeated a wolf spider in that style. Because technically the brood mother's like a juiced wolf spider, right? And as y'all see, wolf spiders literally poison you upon contact. But the power of smoothies is just too strong. The smoothies are too strong. Create smoothie machine as soon as possible. Always drink your smoothies, ladies and gentlemen. That is a life lesson we have learned from Grounded today. Drink your smoothies. It's very good. It'll help you defeat the strongest spider in universe. You probably want to defeat strongest spider in universe. Because, I don't know. Spiders are mean. Actually, dude, IRL spiders are pretty cool. Don't they, uh, whatchamacall? I mean, except for the ones that are are not cool. But, I mean, most of them are pretty cool. Because don't they, like, uh, like, care to, like, bugs and stuff? And kind of, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm no spiderologist, but I know that they, like, help get rid of bugs and stuff. That's cool. You know, I'll keep, keep you from having a fly flying around your house. Bro, speaking of which, I need, a, I need a spider in my life because I have had a fly flying around my house for like the past three days. I'm literally like sitting. Oh, that was a bouncy boy. I'm literally like sitting in my freaking, I'm trying to like focus, getting some work done. And literally, I will just hear this fly. Buzz, 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 just doing all of his obnoxious little fly things. And just like, I, I, I cannot for the life of me focus. And I can't kill the freaking fly because that thing's all over the dang place. So, I could really use a little, little bit of help in the fly department. I am, y'all can tell, very, very upset with fly things. Flies are cruel. It's hard to focus when it's entirely quiet, except for the one lone buzz, 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 buzz. Ah, I found my shelter. Let's freaking sleep forward through the night, hopefully without hearing any flies. But no, like literally, yeah, you might be like, Star, was that fly freaking buzzing to the theme of Star Wars? Yeah, that's how coordinated these flies are that I got to deal with, bro. I literally hear a, just a buzz version of the freaking Star Wars. Not anthem, but uh, not theme song. There's a technical word for it that I'm completely forgetting. I digress. Let's go back up here, though. Back through the branches and, and see where it doth take us. Oh, actually, I can't research some stuff, too. Completely forgot about that. Oh, hello. Granola. And a thingy. Hello, and welcome to Ruby's Classic Automated Burger Shop. My name is Burgle, and I will be taking your order today. Armor Perhaps dummy. Ooh. The daily That's kind of cool. Because I do actually want to craft a lot of different armors. Oh, if I find any grubs, I got to dig those up, too. Beep beep bop bop poo poo motto. <laughs> sounds literally like that part of what he says literally sounds like nonsense, bro. I cannot understand it, but we got plenty of berries for what we're trying to accomplish. <laughs> Woohoo! Close call. What up, a Spidey boy? What's that? You want to be the next Spider Man? Too bad! Your dreams die today. And so do you. <laughs> Jeez, that's dark. <laughs> All right, I do want to though. Now that we've actually murdered the brood mother, want to see if uh, oh, oh, parkour. If the brood mother was protecting anything past her little frisbee, 
I don't know. Was the brood mother or the freaking hedge mother? Did they go pro in ultimate frisbee? Maybe, man. Maybe, but more importantly, I want to investigate. What exactly? How do I get this thing to freaking fall without like? Okay, I'm just gonna get that to fall that way. I got a little bit of parkour down here, but yeah, there was like that whole area past the frisbee. I want to investigate that. Because I got no clue what it contains. It looks like a poop ton of berries. And honestly, if we're out here, you might as well collect as many berries as we can. Not every day that we venture over to the hedge. It's probably like one of the further away locations, but we knocking things out on the bucket list today. Including lots of berries. All right. Should be able to make this jump. I'm really living life on the edge. Literally and figuratively. Because I do not have a freaking dandelion tuft. Ooh. Some arrows that I completely forgot about. They are stuck inside of the frisbee. Oh my god. Come on, dude. Just give me the flipping arrows. Oh my god. There we go. Let's get you to fall down. And I'll continue collecting those at the bottom of the hedge. For now, in uncharted territory. This is what they like to see. Because the brood mother did not give us some kind of a special prize, yet she was protecting this entire, like, next section. Which makes me think that if, I mean, I don't know, unless there's like a little, like one of those little chips. Oh, maybe that's what it is. You know that like little chip that we found on the electrical outlet or whatever? Maybe there's something similar on the frisbee. Eh? Eh? I mean, I can see it. <gasps> Is that it? Is that it? Let's go! We got a new scam scheme! Supreme! Dude, I knew there had to be something, man. Luckily, I saw that obnoxious little light, and I knew it was coming. In. Ooh, that's so purple. It's actually kind of sick. I'll take it. Let's see if there's anything else. Because you can kind of tell. The only reason I even saw that, that was so small, was because, like... It just flashes obnoxiously bright. So if you just don't move and just kind of stare at the frisbee, you might be able to notice something like that. Anyways, I digress. It. Let's see where this leadeth us to it. Okay, so I mean, we got a berry there. Um, I've enough berries have fallen. I will just collect those when the time comes. But this branch goes to interesting location. Send location. I want to see location. What is this location? Oh. Does this go where I think it does? No. Does this take us to the promised land? How in the truck did you get up here? You what, mate? You bloody what? I digress. Oh, hello. Hello. This is... This is... Wow. Okay. We have stumbled across this abandoned laboratory. Question is, can we go inside of the abandoned laboratory? That is a question. I want to get to the bottom of, because, like, it looks and sounds like there are actually things inside of there. So you got to imagine it's possible to get in. But how? And where? I have many questions for this base. Oh, yeah, there's spiders in there. Those are, those, are, those are baby orb weavers. Why are they so small? Have they also been miniaturized? Maybe. Hmm. Well. As we continue exploring... Oh my god, that's a big one! That looked like a big one in that room. Okay, so they're not all miniaturized. Only... Only some of them. This is... Crazy. Dude, this lab is huge, too. Well, I'm going to have to do some exploring and try to figure out how we get into this place. Oh, that looks like an opening. Could this be it? I thought this would be the promised land that takes us to the bird feeder. Oh, there's something up there, too. Maybe, the, maybe this does ultimately lead us to the bird feeder. Oh, my God. How did that thing get in there, dude? I have so many questions.
Oh no, I'm going hungry. Let's eat some mushrooms. Better than starving. Oh? Oh, this looks promising. This right here. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like our inn to the hedge lab breach. And also we saw that freaking thing up there. Where was it? Somewhere up there. There's like a secret lab door too, dude. This is freaking loco. Oh, I'm dying of thirst. Smoothie time. Need to boil it. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. We got our work a cut out for us and okay, out of curiosity, where does this go to? Oh my god, this we've never explored this part of the hedge. This is crazy. Okay. So this might ultimately lead us to the bird feeder. Oh my god. And I can see our base in the distance, kind of. I know it's by the rose freaking flowers over there. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I think I know. Hold up. Is that right there another freaking... What's that pod? What is that? That looks scientific -y. Or that might just be like a light to light up the hedge. Okay, there's- I just saw a spider climbing on top of the lab. Things are going to get interesting, but... What in the... It's like a satellite dish and a... Weird thing there? Huh. We got a lot of exploring to do, and... I want to get into this hedge lab, but ladies and gentlemen, I think that's something that we can go ahead and knock out in the next episode of Grounded when we do return. And soon enough! The new update as well. Things are going to be getting very, very interesting. We got about less than a week to go to that update, so times are about to get good. But hopefully, boys and girls, did enjoy the video when we return. We got a lab to explore, but with that said, with that done, that's going to go to this offering and to this episode of Grounded. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.